In room nine at Bear Valley Middle School, there's evidence of a job well done, lots of it. I look for avenues to bring competition into the classroom. Kids love to compete. Five years ago, Steve Tillinghast had an idea, combine robotics and STEM. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Then have students use those principles to tackle real world issues in a daily elective class. We determined that 30 to 40% of seniors forget to take their medication on a daily basis. So one team created a reminder website called MedVigilant. And then there's this. Light up walker that uses only a touch sensor and a light sensor so they can carry it wherever they need to without wasting battery. And this shield is meant to protect a search and rescue robot. It's made of a carbon fiber Kevlar blend. Project Nanobots focused on earthquake disasters and how to detect a life-threatening gas leak. So we built the quadcopter and we named it Leonardo. Quadcopter flies in, it drops our box off full of our sensors. The sensors detect the gas levels in the air. They send it back so where we can read the information on a screen. It's the nanobot. They were the winners of this year's SoCal Regional Competition. They've been invited to Toronto to compete with 25 teams from the United States, 25 teams from Canada, and 25 of the teams from all over the world. Success comes when they apply what they're learning in core classes to hands-on projects. If I can't help them with a particular part of the project, I'll go to the community and find people that can. Professional mentors are eager to help, and some students come back. The program left a, a lasting effect on me. I've been coming back and trying to help the new people. The STEM robotics program at Bear Valley Middle School began as an experiment. It's something that the people from the rest of the district look to now as far as what they would like to do with their school.